We're going to talk about, um, but I also wanted to talk about something else. And that is a movie that recently came out and it came out, uh, this past Thursday and it is Godzilla versus Kong. I wanted to get your, uh, impression on, uh, GVK, Anthony. Um, did you get a chance to watch this movie? Yes. I've only seen it once though. So I hadn't, you know, I, I, I already, as I watched it that one time felt like I was betraying a certain movie, um, <laughs> by not right, spending- right. I felt that way too. I was like, yeah. man, I feel like I'm like cheating on my wife. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah. 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 Seriously. Know? Yeah. Yeah. It was just like, yo, let me watch this real quick. Good thing. It was less than two hours, like right up under two hours. Um, I thought it was, I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Uh, obviously my, my, uh, <laughs> You know, my boy was getting clapped up the entire. I was like, "Damn, they clapping him up big time, man!" Carl was getting just straight. <laughs> He's getting clapped on, man. But uh, yeah, I thought the movie was good. The visuals, good God, dude. Yeah, the, the special effects were really, really good. It's hard um, to find another. It's hard to find a movie out there. But like when it would get close up on Kong, dude, it, it, it was good. Oh, it, kudos it, it to the like BFX. It was, it, was like it was really there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and and guys. Similar to what Anthony Beltre did. What's up, Anthony? Leave your out of ten. What would you give Godzilla <laughs> versus Kong? Okay, so if it was me, I would probably give it a like a six point seven out of ten because like it was fun and I liked it. However, I just thought it was kind of it, some of the plot points were a little stupid. Now, before we go on a little further about this, we're going to talk about the new Army of the Dead picture that came out. Uh, talk about uh, Joss Whedon, talk about all the other cool stuff that's out right now. But before we move forward, let's invite our guest of the day. He is none other than nerdy in many ways. He has a beautiful channel, tons of subscribers. Here is Dawson Weedrick. What's up, Dawson? A beautiful channel. That's uh, an yeah, like, interesting way to put uh, it. Yeah. Um, that's one way to put it, right? <laughs> it is one way to put it. And I was asking in the private chat, in case the chat doesn't know what was on Anthony's shirt, but I... I, I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. <laughs> that was good. That was well-timed. I'm proud of you, Andre. I'm very proud I of you. I just got that one, too. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty good. So I'm here. Uh-huh. Yes. And, so he's uh, here. He's you have here. my clout. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. <laughs> As uh, Gavin Cooley states, where to go? Uh, no, that's Godzilla. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, here it is. He's using Dawson for his views. <laughs> then, then cast him aside. Yeah, I I'm the guest, well, and I didn't even get a link till one minute after the show. So I thought I gave it to you. I was at work earlier, man. I, I, I thought, I, you know, I no made excuse. sure to do that. So I, I apologize for that. Um, so let's I see. might forgive you later. Maybe. Oh, cool. Later. Um, What's up? We got sickness in the house. Oh, what's up, man? We got Andy R in the in the chat saying, "What's up?" We got Neon Sci-Fi. We have Ryan Rivera. What's up, Ryan? What's good? We got Fear Jason in the house as well. <laughs> we got Arkham Gaming. He's also here. He gave GBK a nine out of ten. Mm, interesting. Nine out of ten. Wow. Now, now Arkham Gaming has also been. Uh, he's excited for the Suicide Squad. He's excited. He he was really excited for uh, you know Godzilla versus Kong. So this is movies that he really likes. Uh, we got Cylon Scotty. What's up, Cylon? What's up, Cylon? <laughs> Cylon said, "What a welcome." <laughs> it, it was like watching BBS but with monsters. <laughs> so so when it comes to Godzilla versus Kong, Ryan gave it a six and a half out of five. I I, I feel kind of the same way. What's up, Steve? Steve. Um, Steve, what's I, good? I, I feel kind of the same way about it. We got Anthony Strader up in here saying Godzilla and Kong was fun to watch. I didn't care about the story. I was there for the monsters. <laughs> I was there to support the monsters. Uh, <laughs> seven out of ten for me, and it was fun popcorn movie. Exactly, it's what it was. Mm-hmm. I was <clears throat> well, whoops. <laughs> uh, Jacob Ludy gave it a nine out of ten. So Jacob Ludy was actually a huge fan of um, Godzilla versus Kong. Now Dawson, what did you give Godzilla versus Kong? Out of 10, I, we'll, go ahead. I actually filmed a review, but I used StreamYard. And for some reason, the video that I got was super pixelated, so I couldn't post it, which really oh. sucks. Um, and it's kind of too late now. Um, but overall, kind of like what I heard some of the people in the chat say, it was a fun movie. It was action-packed. It was nice and vibrant, and it was enjoyable to watch. Mm-hmm. But I'd probably give it around a 7 out of 10, just because you know there were some things in the story that didn't quite make sense. Um, and I, and I don't want to go too much into spoilers here, but 
The one thing that really bothers me is the fact that the people said they needed Kong to lead them to this place that we're not going to, I guess, I don't know if you want to go into that, um, but oh, oh, no, no. hold on guys, guys, <laughs> this is going to be a straight up spoiler talk about Godzilla versus Kong. Okay. Okay. So okay, okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm All not right. holding back. So, I'm not holding back. So they said they needed the King Kong to lead them to hollow earth, right? Or, or AKA Earth's asshole. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Inner All right. Earth. Inner, uh, inner earth. But <laughs> essentially, they go to the tunnel. They already know where the tunnel is to the middle of the Earth. And they have these ships that can withstand the gravitational shift. So what was the point of Kong? That part doesn't make any sense to me. Yes. So they're like, oh, he's got to lead the way. And then he starts swinging on those on those. I guess things. they're like, like, oh, he needs to lead us to the power source. But like. Well, why? the thing is, is that he goes straight. Like he goes straight in and he's swinging off of those, uh, those, what do you mm. call them? This piece of metal that like, I'm yeah, sorry, the they would not be able to hold up that, that giant. No, they, they wouldn't. They'd be like, there's, <laughs> there's nothing on this world that could sustain the weight of Kong when he's swinging on them. That just doesn't yes. make any sense. Nothing man made anyway. Not <laughs> even the freaking Titanic could withstand him grabbing yeah. that. Oh, no. and I, I mean, like, little, in the, little aircraft carrier. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was five. my thing. Look, you gave him a five out of five. Uh, Steve, give it a seven out of ten. I mean, five point five out of ten. Five point five yeah. out of ten. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> just being a flash, mo uh, flash monster fight film. Andre didn't learn how to read. I know. Uh, if you want to go beyond that, six out of ten uh, should be. Uh, should the Earth have split? So okay, this is the part where the movie started to fall apart, story wise. Mm -hmm. Action, Action -wise, was great. It was great. Oh yeah. yeah. Great. Visuals. I, I will say. It was weird how often we saw Godzilla's face straight on. Like he literally gave Kong like a smirk, like <laughs> get yeah. the crap out of you. It's like, all right, well, that's a little creepy. She <laughs> 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 I'm gonna keep the crap out of you, Kong. You she. So yeah, he's, he's, his you know, they said, oh well, uh, you know, he's got to lead us down there, right? And so they follow him. And he goes straight in the power source. He goes like, straight ahead. He doesn't even make any left or right turns because you can see the light behind him. He's mm -hmm. like, huh, huh. And he just jumps down that cliff into that huge whirlpool of like gravity or whatever. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm like, I told myself, I said, so you're telling me that when you excavated this tunnel, that none of you guys looked down there and said, oh, sh hey, shit, there's a big old whirlpool. That must be it. Like, but then your brother, well, he said if, the, the brother yeah, went in there and got crushed. So I'm his like, brother went in there because they knew that's where it was. Yeah. But they're but like, oh, that's why we have these enough? like, that's why we have these like sci-fi ships that we made. Which is another thing that I thought was interesting that I saw in the uh, the pitch <laughs> meeting that was made, which is pretty funny. I love the pitch meetings. But they said like how the first Godzilla movie was like very modern, like very much modern technology. And, Wonder Woman like, eighty four, Jesus, and like pretty oh, much man. like on our Earth. But then this third movie, it's just like, or I guess technically this fourth movie. It's like basically embracing technology of like the 28th century. And it's like they have like straight up Star Wars ships, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that's just a couple of years. It's like, uh, all right. Okay, okay. Uh, so, so they go through the, the whirlpool or vortex of gravity, whatever, whatever that was, right? They the go through that, whatever the hell it was. I don't know what the fuck that was called, but yeah, they go yeah. through that, right? It's and the so, vortex of gravity. I mean, look, I, I, at this point, when, when they got <laughs> to Antarctica, I was already like, okay, now this is getting kind of stupid. Like, what are we doing now? Mm. And so then they go through there, and they're like, ah! And then they get to the gravity. Kong, then, I guess it doesn't matter to him wearing a suit or not. He's just like, yeah, well, it, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And uh, he, he goes through it, and then... Uh, you know they fly through. He he fights against those little flying dragons, which was kind of cool. It was mm -hmm. a little it was a little necessary, but it was like okay, well, whatever. Cool. He's, like he sliced them in half and then ate the freaking no, yeah, sides of the he one. Drank the juices, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh man, oh. I was like, like oh, I've never eaten that before. Um, <laughs> and then uh, not only oh, that, but good. but like they get to his home, right? Yeah, They're like yeah. this is his home, home. You know, and then what happens? It's almost as if when they wrote this movie or they were making the movie, they got to that part. They got Kong in his house and they had him sit on the mantle w w with the axe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which like, is pretty cool. And they were like, this is cool. And they were like, hey, hey, we fucked up. Why? What happened? Yeah, how, how are we going to get him back on top to fight Godzilla? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I know. What? 
Godzilla will just fucking blow a hole through the center of the earth. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just bypass that whole gravitational thing. Yeah, and then of course there's no gravitational field to come out of it. They just come right out, like, woo, let's go. You know, it was just like, what the fuck? See now, like, now what, what was that t- city? Was that Shanghai? Is that what it was? It was whatever what city it was. It was devastated. But now, now they have a tunnel straight to the center of the earth in that city. Yeah, that and doesn't have like, to deal with the truth. Gravity. Truth was good. Oh, truth, good to see you, man. Um, but yeah, it's just like all the fighting and action was Fire. great. As far yeah. as the action, fighting, and the and the CGI, this movie like gets like nine out of ten to ten out of ten. Yeah, yeah. But it's just yeah. story yeah. and like the other thing that bugged me was the podcaster guy. You have this guy yeah. who runs a podcast, and all that information of a podcast oh, is available dude. all over the internet, right? Mm-hmm. And he literally says on a podcast, "I'm going to go in and steal information from Apex." And you're telling me that nobody decides to amp up security at Apex? <laughs> this government facility yeah. that has this high technology, someone threatens to steal your equipment. Yeah, but he worked there. As usual. Yeah, he did work there. Yeah. He worked there, so that's how yeah. he got in. Yeah, well, but, I, like, but, but you but, don't but, think to screen your employees too? Because the guy kept saying, I have the inside on this thing. Wouldn't they screen all their employees to try to figure out who is the guy on the inside? Like that's probably didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> and Prima, I agree. I I actually do think that the movie should have been longer. Yeah, um, it needed to be longer. Well, you know, we we um, all know why. You know. Well, yeah, they're like, no, we need more butts in movie theaters. Even but, though uh, no butts can go yeah, in. Yeah, even though yeah, no one can go in one. Yeah. And so, um, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. It really was so, crazy. So, so as far as like the re- the result, it, I, I have no problem with um. Even though I, I was Team Kong and shit, I have no problem with them getting clapped up. But the I, I way they were, the, the whole way, way. They, the, whole way. The, the, the way they were doing it, I was just like, n- didn't use the breath, which is you, you just can't. Because like I said before, he tried it, to. He tried to use the breath. No, no, no but I'm saying they did. I like the way they like, used it. He shoved like, a tree down his throat. It's like <laughs> <laughs> I like the way they. I like the way they use the breath. But dude, Kong stamina. Well. Kong stamina level zero. Dude would throw three mm. punches and let me lay the fuck down. Like that, yeah, legitimately. That one wounded me. Yeah. You know, I'm living but, on Ireland by myself. You know, yeah. I haven't the had fights, the fights, monsters. the fights were fire though. They were. They were. I, I did think it was interesting how they treated the fighting though, because like both one on one matchups, Godzilla was pretty much the victor, but mm-hmm. at the end. With Mecha Godzilla, it was Kong's abilities that ended up helping them defeat Mecha Godzilla. Yeah. And it shows like well, fighting well, fighting does not simply boil down to who's stronger than the other. It boils down to who has the capabilities and who has the skills to take on a certain well, opponent. Yeah, and in the case of Mecha Godzilla, Kong was able to take that one out, of course, with the help of Godzilla because Godzilla was getting the crap beat out of him. Yeah. But Godzilla beats Kong one on one. It's one of those like confusing, like mm. it's almost like if you have, for example, a football team that's like seven and nine, and they Lose to a team that's like thirteen and one, or whatever the whatever the schedule is, yeah. and then they end right. up they end up beating another team that's like undefeated, right? Makes zero sense on paper. Yeah, but it just all depends on and matchup. Also, also, at the end, did he Kong? Because the, the line was in every single trailer. Kong bows to no one. Did he bow? Because right. it was almost like Godzilla was like, "Yeah, dude, you just saved my ass." But what you gonna do now? Kong dropped the axe. He's like, I thought so, and he just fucking bounced. Like, yeah, pretty well, much. Well, well, he dropped the axe, and, and then he gave him a look like, like we're like, I don't know. He, it's he was kinda, just like, yeah, you're not my he, enemy. He looked at Godzilla and said, Martha won't die tonight. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, man. Yeah. Although yeah. at the end of the day, when you look at the fight, Godzilla won. Yeah, he, he fucking yeah, got he on did. top of him. He was like, Aah! I was like, oh yeah. wow, he won. And he dug his claws into Kong's chest. Like he, yeah. yep, he, he won. He did. But Thank Kong you, had more ability though. I, I, I mean, remember uh, at one point Godzilla's like, you know, he's he's like, oh, he's trying to find him, right? And, and Godzilla, I mean, uh, King Kong's up in the fucking building like he's Batman, like looking over, and I'm like, oh shit. He's like, ah! And, and then he shoots a laser at him, and of course. It's like right on the axe. I'm like, dude, why don't you just like move down a little bit? <laughs> well, he did like kind of deflect it, then bring it up. So yeah, it's it's just kind of a weird thing. Maybe yeah, maybe Godzilla's was cool. thinking like, oh, let's destroy this thing because I haven't seen this thing in ages, so I don't really know exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I haven't seen this axe in like ten thousand years. But hey, and the other thing too that they didn't explain is that how how did he get out of the inner earth? They were like, you always said that the island is is like the inner earth came out of the earth. It's like okay, that's kind of cool and all, but uh, how did he like? You know, it's not like all of a sudden it was like, it was like, whoa, hey, now I'm on top of the earth. <laughs> I'm like, on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. 
<laughs> but you know what I mean? Yeah, I was like, uh, well, how did you get there? Whatever. I guess that doesn't really matter, right? See, they um, migrated from the center of the earth. And I, I, I know they, they may have said something in the movie. Again, like Anthony, I've only seen it once. But why is it so bright in the center of the freaking earth? It, yeah, I, I know, right? Down there. It's like there's a sun. Well, but, the, but, the Earth's but how, core how big is like it, a sun. Yeah, but it, so like, like, there's like a thriving. The sun world is like this there. big. Yeah, and, and there's like giant monsters running around. I'm like, I'm like, what are they eating to stay that size? It's like <laughs> trees, <laughs> trees, and other big monsters. You know, it, and that also makes the question: How does it rain down there? Like, there's so many questions that get arisen from this whole like hollow Earth thing. It look, looks look, visually amazing. At the end of the day, but. I think that if if the the makers of Godzilla vs. Kong could talk to us and they would answer our questions, this is what they would say. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. They don't. They don't care. They're like, it doesn't matter. Well, then the it's director did say Kong. that there's like there's five there's there's enough stuff for five hours. Footage of course. and things that that they filmed. What up, Bell? What's up, Bell? What's up, Bell? You're yeah, streaming he, at this time from now on. No, I am for the next couple of weeks, and then I'm gonna go back to my regular time because I'm working an early shift at work. He got so. grounded. I got, oh. <laughs> got grounded. Yeah, he's not yeah. allowed to be in a studio after 10 p.m. Mecca Doomsday. Mecha I know, Doomsday. right? That, that's what it felt like. She goes like in Jurassic Park uh, with the T Rex and Blue the Raptor. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you know, um. <laughs> <laughs> He's a truce, Kong. <laughs> Kong, I don't like you. <laughs> or, I do not like you. Uh, okay, uh, don't even. Okay, don't even. Uh, Godzilla didn't didn't even get one good hit on Mecha. Well, okay, look, Gavin, that's not fair. It's not fair, and, and, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> Andre's getting. I'll, I'll tell you what. It, it's not fair because look, he just got done in the fight of his life against King Kong or Kong. They don't call him King Kong in this movie. Against Kong. So he was a little winded, all right? Then he had to go against Mecha Godzilla who fires missiles and shit. Yeah, he was a little tired. And, uh, and again, I, it's I, all down to matchups. Who can match the best yeah. against different opponents? But I, I, I think he would have uh, you know, put up a better fight. But I, he was already winded. You know what I mean? He just got through with a fight. And he was like, oh, now I got to fight somebody else. You know what I mean? Like, oh, oh. <laughs> he was it's like someone playing in the Super Bowl and then being asked to play in the national championship the very next day. Yeah. Like, you don't know. No. no. Well, if- What's up, M. Siggy? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it just doesn't doesn't work. <laughs> She's like, what's up? I'm listening while at work and checking the messages. <laughs> right on. Listening to Tina criticize GBK is hilarious. Look, look, I, I liked the movie. Like, I, I it did. Cool, I did. But I don't think I would watch it again. Just like, for, like I wouldn't watch it as many times as I've watched, you know, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Right. Um, yeah. yeah, definitely not. Literally left the house yesterday to go to like an Easter dinner type thing. Legitimately had all three of my TVs streaming it and my laptop. My TV right here is playing it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Double MJ. The ending fight made no sense. Uh, Kong got his ass kicked by Godzilla twice. Couldn't beat him with the axe. And he couldn't actually. I thought the axe was going to be the difference maker, and it wasn't. Uh, but he could beat Mega Godzilla with the axe right after. I, I, I know, but they worked together. Because remember, like, you know, at one point, he, uh, Godzilla charged the axe for him, and then that was what allowed him to cut him up. Mm-hmm. So they worked together. So they, they, you know, they made a team. But now the question is. Are they gonna like form like the Justice League of monsters? <laughs> like the, you know, the Godzilla might be like, like, shouldn't we form a league of our own? And, you know, it w- w- would have been shitty, or like really like, oh my god, Warner Brothers, what are you doing? Is is if at the end of that fight is uh, when he went to go kill him, uh, that Mecha Godzilla like stabbed King Kong <laughs> with that axe. Right, and it woke yeah. the mother boxes. Yeah, and it woke, and then he went down at the end. It's like you know, yeah. King Kong dies, you know, and Godzilla's like, "Oh, I can't believe I did this. What, I got, I, I got to go recruit the other monsters and form a league because something else is coming." You know, that what was is, what, what is what I said. Talking, he said Godzilla's a cheater. Yeah, what did so, How was he a cheater? Yo, but you know what? Somebody always cheats though in these movies, right? Yeah, you do realize that, right? Like, Where, if you want to really how go did to he cheat, I, I don't know how Godzilla cheated. cheated. I don't know. I don't know what he means. Maybe I, didn't I mean, he basically got his ass whooped for most of most of the. But movie. in the before previous to this one, in the past, I'd say ten years, the last two versus movies that were really large were Batman v Superman and uh, Civil War. In both movies, in the final fight, one person cheated. <laughs> and just, How did and Batman just, cheat? Oh, because he had kryptonite. Yeah, kryptonite. I mean, he exactly. didn't have a choice. I mean, was like... but cheating. Does he look like a bitch? <laughs> no, he doesn't. He, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> 
And then in, in uh in Captain America Civil War, Bucky grabbed uh Tony's leg, fucked him up, and then Cap got the upper hands on him. 